Hello, this is Craig from Bitsbox.co.uk with another ha Halo painting tutorial video for you. So we have finally got onto the UNSC and in this video I'm going to be painting a marathon just in the regular standard box colour scheme. And we're only going to be using standard paints and brushes and all the paints will be from the Citadel range of paints from GW. So this model's been undercoated just with the usual um, grey primer but any, any undercoat and primer of any colour will be fine. Um, as always. So I, I just do it grey just for a video. Um, so we're going to start with some Storm Raven fur. Um, this is a Siddle layer paint. And we're going to base coat the entire ship in this colour. Now I've thinned the paint down just a little bit and I will be applying two coats just to get a nice solid finish on the ship. Uh, it's worth um, thinning this base coat down because that will ensure that you can get all the paint just into all the recesses and that will cover the ship really nicely. As you can see here, this is what it looks like with the uh, base coat complete. Now um, there's a bit of a gloss finish on it, I and mean, that's just the nature of the uh, paint. Um, it might vary from different little pots, but um, you'll lose that shine now as we apply a wash of Nuln oil. Now I'm going to apply this all over the ship, however I'm not going to apply it like, too thickly. So um, it's still fairly um, thick, as you can see there's quite a bit on the brush, but I'm going to spread it around the ship to get a nice even coverage. You don't want to pull up like it does at the bottom, so just keep spreading it around the ship and that'll get nicely into all these recesses. And it will darken the overall ship, but we will be lighting it back up um, in the next few steps. So just go all over the whole ship, just in this null oil. And um, it'll take a little while to dry, as it's only a wash. So I, I left it for about 20 minutes before I moved on to the next step. So with that dry, this is what the ship looks like. It's a lot darker, but all these um, recesses are now um, black, so it makes all the panels really stand out. So we're going to go back in with Storm Raven Fur, but this time we're going to dry brush it. So if we, you guys who are new to painting, um, dry brushing is essentially, um, I normally just use an old brush or a flathead brush, put some paint on the brush and then wipe most of it away with a tissue and then just lightly run it over the ship like this. So there's very little paint left on the brush, but by running it over like this, that will pick up all the recesses with this colour. Now it's very subtle at this stage, you won't notice too much of a difference apart from on some of the sharper edges. But don't worry, because um, as we go on through the next stages, the highlights will really stand out a lot more. So just do this on the entire ship, and making sure you just catch all them panel lines. Okay, so I've gone around the whole ship, and we're going to do exactly the same, but this time with some Dawnstone. So again, we're just going to dry brush this on, exactly the same way as before. Just um, a little bit on the brush, and we'll just lightly run it over all these panel lines. And as this is a lighter colour, it will really start um, to show up a little bit better now. So just keep going around the whole ship with this, and that'll highlight all the panel lines, and with this lighter grey, and that'll make them stand out even more than they did in the previous step. This is a very quick and easy way just to highlight ships like this, rather than doing the edge highlighting as we've done in previous Covenant videos. So now that I've gone round the whole ship, we're now going to take Longbeard Grey, and this is a Citadel dry colour, so these um, paints are actually specifically used for dry brushing, and um, they're very thick in pigment, but that doesn't really matter 
um, when it comes to dry brushing. You couldn't use them as a normal paint unless you mixed in a load of water or medium. So this time I'm going to do exactly the same, but this time I'm just going to pick out just the sharper edges, so oh, mostly a lot of the corners. And you can see um, it, this, this highlight shows up a bit better on camera than the previous ones, and you can just see that where some of these highlights are really being picked out now. And again, just work around the ship, picking out the corners, give them a sharper highlight. I've also just done a few of the edges with this as well, just to make them stand out just a little bit more. So that is the, the grey um, base colour. So now we're going to add some details to the ship. So on the box art, uh, on the back, um, they all have like a, a stripe going down them, and I'm going to take some white scar just to paint this stripe along the ship. Now at this stage you certainly need to thin the paint just a little bit and use a nice fine brush. So just take your time with this step and just just paint. Um, you can paint little sections just like this as I'm doing. Um, basically this whole panel at the top will be painted in white and then we'll follow the white stripe down on the bottom half of the ship. As the paint is quite thin um, I will be doing a couple of coats of this white. It's much easier just to build it up than it is to obviously do too much and take it away. And with the paint so thin it's a lot easier to control it when you're doing details like this. So there's no panel to follow on the bot bottom, just try and line it up the best you can and just and be as careful and as neat as you can be. And now we have a nice white stripe going down the ship. Uh, it just um, makes a piece a little bit more interesting as well. So we're going to take some flash kits yellow this time. Now you may notice on the ships on the back they have lots of little yellow lights dotted all over them. Now there's not really any markings for these on the ships, so it's just up to you really where you place these. So again, I've thinned the yellow down just as I had done with the white, and I'm just going to place just some random little dots of yellow just on the ship, just to represent some of these lights. So I'm trying to follow just where they're located just on the ships on the back of the starter box, but of course you can put them anywhere you want, it really won't make too much difference. You could place them in different areas on all your marathons just to mix them up a little bit. Again, just be um, as, as neat and careful as you can. So with the lights now complete, we're going to move on to the engines. So I'm going to take some Altdorf Guard Blue. Now I'm going to thin this down just a little bit. And this is going to be painted um, all inside the engines at the back. So you've got these two large engines in the middle and you also have four little smaller ones uh, just at the side. So I'm going to paint the inside of all of these just with this colour. As it's thinned down that will go in there nice and smoothly. So I'm going to paint all this middle section. And uh, for anyone who's watched the um, previous videos you'll know that when it comes to painting um, these sort of glow effects I always start with a darker colour thinned out to go around the outside and then I work up to lighter colours in the middle and it'll be no different with these engines also. So it's up to you how heavy you want to go with this. I'm only doing a single thin down coat but of course you could build it up with an extra layer if you wanted it to be brighter. So 
that's essentially the middle section done. Now I'm going to move straight into doing the cent central areas with um, Lothan Blue. So even if that previous layer is not completely dry, you can just go in there and blend them together, and that'll give you a nice um, transition between the colours. Again, I've thinned it down just a little bit with just some water, and I'm going to paint this colour right in the central areas of the, um, the big engines and also just a little dot um, in the smaller ones. I'm sorry, it's like um, right off the top of the camera there, it's a bit awkward to paint these and film at the same time, but you can sort of see the effect I'm going for there. So with them dry, I am going to take some Blue Horror, this is an edge paint from Citadel, and um, I just wanted um, just a bit lighter blue in the centre, I was originally going to leave it just with them two colours, but I wanted to just brighten up even further, so I'm going to take a small amount of this. Again, thinned out very slightly, um, just to go in the centre, and that will make these look really bright. Now, if you don't wish to get the um, blue horror edge paint, you can literally just mix some white in with the previous blue, and you'll get the same result. You could, if you want to be really bright, just go straight to white as well. And here is the finished ship. So, of course, you can always. Ch change um, details, you could have different stripes, different places, etc. Um, I haven't actually got one on the other side of the ship, but I will be um, adding a matching one um, later on. I just wanted to just quickly paint this for the purposes of the tutorial. So as always, thank you so much for watching this video, and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any other suggestions for any um, other ways or techniques you'd like to see for the UNSC ships, um, please leave a comment below. I'm I will be doing a couple more, but any more suggestions will be welcome. So as always, um, if you enjoyed this video, please give us a like and subscribe to our channel. And I will see you all again in the next video.